Introducing the Advanced Financial Reporting app for Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric. Uh, in Business Central, we have financial reporting where you can create financial reports. Um, this app extends the possibilities you have in that uh, area. Let me show what uh, some of the things that this, uh, this app can do. Um, I have installed this app in the sandbox. You can do the same thing and you can try out everything as long as you're in the sandbox. You don't need a license. You don't need to put in your name or whatever. Um, you can just try out the app. Um, the first thing the app adds to uh, the, the standard functionality is the possibility of doing cross-company reporting. So in this case, I have created a, uh, a column definition called companies. And uh, you can see that I basically have the same line four times, but I have four different companies specified. So if I go and run a report, I think I have a demo report here, so we can say view. And that one is set up to use the company's columns. I have created a small report here showing that what uh, what is the different uh, cash amount I have in the different companies. You can also use the company filter on a line level um, if you need to uh, need to build something where columns are not companies, but you need to drag in numbers from a different company. Um, so that's the first thing it will do cross-company reporting. The next thing is that the, in the world of KPIs and reporting, quite often you need numbers that are not just from the GL module, from the finance module in Business Central. You might need inventory numbers, production numbers, something. Uh, so that is also enabled uh, with the Amounts Financial Reporting app. So you can go into row definition uh, and I'll actually uh, no not this one i will edit the one we just saw uh, because there's a third line here conference uh, table and we can see that that is an indicator and an indicator means that we are grabbing a number somewhere in business central um, and we can click and see what the indicator is in this case the indicator is uh, looking at item ledger entries looking at the quantity uh, and filtering for a specific item conference table um, and looking for sale. So how many did we sell of this conference table? Um, it even filters the period correct. So if you have columns for different periods, it will, uh, it will, it will do that. So when we run the report, which we just saw a minute ago, but I'll run it again. We, we get the different sales of conference tables, uh, um, now it's for the same period, um, but actually also from different companies here. So that's the second thing it does. So add the possibility of grabbing data from anywhere in the system and, and pulling it into a financial report. So the third thing it does is you can set up distribution. So if there is a, a P&L that you want to send to your board of directors every uh, every month or it needs to go and be put on SharePoint because it needs to go to the internet or stuff like that. You can set up automated distribution. Uh, and in this case, I have set up a distribution of the demo report we just saw to always run within the month that it's triggered. So if you trigger the distribution in January, you get January numbers. When you trigger the distribution in February, you get February numbers and so on. Uh, and then you specify where this should go. In this case, I've just emailed, uh, set up to email them to myself. I can put this in the job queue and set and forget. The last thing that you can do with this app is that you can also expose a financial report as an API. And what is an API? Well, an API is a way for external programs to access uh, data. And um, let me see where that went. I, uh, I exposed this to Power BI. So we can see that this was, Power BI does not know what the columns are, so you have to figure out what the columns are. So it just says column value in one, but we can, uh, we can go in and we can add column 
let's make this i know this is very small on the screen uh, so we can add column two uh, and three and then we have to set it to recalculate to to get the numbers but you can access the report from outside so the idea is that you you in the accounting department define your report you do all the calculation and then you hand it over to uh, to somebody who is great at making power bi look good uh, but you don't require them to suddenly be responsible for your financial uh, financial calculations you do that yourself there's a link below you can try this in the sandbox uh, and there's a link to uh, to extra documentation um, give it a go thanks for watching